Hello, first grade. Today we are starting our, our look of the rainforest again. And when we're looking at the rainforest today, we're actually going to be looking at the jaguar. The jaguar is one of the animals that lives in the rainforest. So today you're going to need your book out of your folder that looks like this. It says, I am a jaguar. And you're going to go ahead and put your name on this book. We're going to go through part of the book today and part of the book tomorrow. You can go ahead and open it up. I'm going to read this for you, and then there's going to be something for us to do. It says, hi. Notice how my pointer finger is right here. It would be a great idea for you to follow along with your finger as I read. Hi, it's nice to meet you. I am a jaguar. I'm a mammal that is part of the cat family. You might recognize me by my tan fur with black spots. My spots kind of look like roses. They are called rosettes. My spots help me camouflage so I can sneak up on my prey. I also have really strong jaws that help me capture prey. Even though my legs are short, they are very strong. I am the third biggest cat in the world. Only lions and tigers are bigger than me. Okay, so what have we learned about the jaguar so far? Well, we learned that they're a mammal. They're part of the cat family. They can camouflage. That's a big word. We need to know what that word camouflage means. It says, my spots help me camouflage so I can sneak up on my prey. If you camouflage, it means that you can kind of hide yourself in your surroundings uh, sometimes so that you can stay safe and other times so that you can do what the jaguar does, which is sneak up on their prey. Prey is the food that the jaguar is going to eat, other animals or insects or rodents that are, uh, are around. Um, the other word that I wanted you to know, your jaws, strong jaws that capture prey. So the jaguar has strong jaws. Your jawbone is what moves up and down when you are talking. It's that strong bone that your chin is on. That's your jawbone. Okay, so a jaguar has strong jaws that help them to capture. If you capture something, it means you grab it and you're going to keep it for yourself. So the jaguar has the strong jaws that help him take the prey and keep it and not let them get away. They have short legs but are very strong. Okay, wow, that was a lot of information. If you turn to the next page, it says, what is the author mostly trying to inform us about on page one? What does it want us to know about the jaguar on page one? Does it want us to know about a jaguar's diet, what it eats? Does it want us to know about a jaguar's habitat, where it lives, or a jaguar's body? Highlight your text evidence. Proof that page one is mostly about the topic you chose. So I'm going to take a yellow crayon. You also can take a yellow crayon to help you with this. So if you don't know, you go back, and then we can reread. Um, you might recognize you by my tan fur with black spots. My spots help me camouflage. I have strong jaws. My legs are short, but are, they're very strong. I'm the third biggest cat in the world. Okay, what is it talking about? Was it talking about the diet? No. Was it talking about the jaguar's habitat where it lives? No. What was it talking about? Well, it was talking about the jaguar's body. So you're going to go ahead and just put an X there by a jaguar's body. That tells us that reminds us of what we were just learning about on page one. And then it says highlight your text evidence. We need proof. So we're gonna go back to page one. And what were some things that we learned about the jaguar and its body? Well, we learned about tan fur with black spots. So take your yellow crayon and you're going to highlight tan fur with black spots. says my spots help me camouflage. So you could also say 
spots help me camouflage that tells them that they can hide okay what else did we learn I also have really strong jaws Mm-hmm. what else even though my legs are short they are very strong my legs are short they are very strong okay that was a lot of information that we just learned there wasn't it okay tan fur spots help me camouflage I have really strong jaws my legs are short they are very strong you could even if you wanted to highlight I'm the third biggest cat in the world. Okay, you could put that too if you wanted to. And use your, your yellow crayon for that. And the reason we use yellow crayon is so that we can see it. It's like a highlighter, but it doesn't bleed through the pages. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we are going to read this next section. We're just going to read it. And then we will have um, a little activity for you to do toward the end of it. It says, most cats are terrified of water, but not me. I love it, and I'm a great swimmer. Sometimes when I'm swimming, I will get a snack, like a fish, crocodile, or turtle. Mm. So what did we just learn about the jaguar? They love swimming and they're really, really good at it. They're a great swimmer. Love it and they're great at it. You'll notice that those words are in capital letters. I am also an excellent climber. I can quickly climb a tree and grab a monkey for dinner. It's sad, I know. As you can tell, I'm a meat eater, a carnivore. No salad for me. No thank you. I would much rather eat deer, sloths, monkeys, snakes, and lots of other animals. Sometimes I hide my food and save it for later. Do you do that too? Mm. Now, what I'm going to have you do is I want you to go to this next page and color foods that are part of the jaguar's diet. And you're going to cross off foods that are not part of a jaguar's diet. Then tomorrow, we're going to highlight the evidence that proves that. And we're going to double check your work with this. Okay? So your job, you are going to color the foods that are part of a jaguar's diet. Cross off the foods with your pencil that are not part of its diet. We're going to highlight the text evidence tomorrow. So do not highlight the text evidence. But if you need to go back and reread this page, page number three, to find out your answer, you go ahead and do that. When you are done coloring in the foods that are part of the Jaguar's diet um, and crossing off the ones that are not, you're going to put this in your Tuesday folder. Where are you going to put this? Your Tuesday folder. You're going to close this up and put this in your Tuesday folder. And the reason for that is so that you have it ready to go tomorrow and it's in the right spot. If you need help with an, from an adult to do that, make sure that you ask an adult. But this is going to go in your Tuesday folder when you are done today. We'll see you back here for Jaguars tomorrow.